This is the Reolink Argus PT2K. This is a battery powered or solar outdoor Wi-Fi security camera from Reolink that has pan and tilt. Does it have motion tracking or does it have preset positions? Well, let's find out. Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today we are going to review the Reolink Argus PT, the 2K version. This is a battery powered outdoor Wi-Fi camera from Reolink that has pan and tilt. I did review the first version of this a while back, probably three years ago. And the big difference from the older model is that this new one records in 2K quality and it now has AI person and vehicle detection. But I remember though, and I did double check, the older model has a starlight sensor and this one doesn't. And I realized that it seems like newer releases of Reolink cameras don't have a starlight or low light sensor. So I'm not sure about the reasoning for that. This Argos PT model also has two types that Reolink sells, which is a bit confusing. The only difference is the more expensive one can connect to both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, while the other one, which only comes in white, can only be connected to a 2.4 gigahertz. And I'm guessing they are trying to phase this out. Thank you Reolink for sending me this camera to be reviewed. And before we dive in, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. Thank you and I appreciate it. Quick check of the specs. This camera records in 2K quality, 2560 by 1440 pixel resolution at 15 frames per second in daytime and 12 FPS at night. It has a 122 degree diagonal field of view. This is a pan and tilt camera and has a 355 degree pan and 140 degree tilt. We'll talk more about this later on the video, so keep on watching. It has AI person and vehicle detection. This model that I'm reviewing has dual band Wi-Fi. It has a built-in battery, 6000 mAh capacity, and the one that I got comes bundled with a solar panel. As to storage, it records to a microSD card inserted on the camera itself, and is compatible to up to a 128GB card. It has an optional cloud storage if you want. This is weatherproof with an IP64 rating. Inside the box, we have some paperwork, a mounting template for the solar panel, and also for the camera itself. We have the operational instructions and a quick start guide, and a window sticker. We have the antenna, we have a plastic mount, mounting screws and plastic anchors, and we have a short micro USB cable. We have a strap, and this is if you want to install the camera to a pole or a tree without screws. And we have the camera itself. We have the camera lens, status light, light sensor, and the PIR motion sensor right here. We have the speaker, and on the back we have a rubber flap that covers the on and off switch. And this is where we're going to screw in the antenna. And we have another rubber flap that covers the micro USB port to charge the batteries. On the bottom, or actually this is going to be the top when installed, is the Quarry 20 screw in mount. What else is inside the box? This bundle comes with a solar panel and its mount and its mounting screws and plastic anchors. By the way, if you tilt the camera, you will see another rubber flap that covers the microSD card slot. So insert a microSD card. Then turn on the camera. Download and open up the Reolink app. Click the plus sign to add a camera. Scan the QR code which is on the sticker on the bottom of the camera. Select Wi-Fi not configured. Click next. Enter your Wi-Fi info and click next. It will generate a QR code that you need to show to the camera. Create a device password and click next. Name your device, which I'll name mine Argus PT2, and it is connected. Time to install this. Screw in the mount with the included two screws. Screw in the mount adapter on the camera, and just put it in the mount and twist it to lock it in place. As to the solar panel, I already have one of Reolink solar panel mounts installed from a previous video. But what I like about this mount is that it's longer than normal, and a perfect length if you have rain gutters. It will clear it, and you'll be able to screw in the solar panel without problems. Plug in the solar panel to the back of the camera, and make sure you push in the rubber plug to have a good weather seal and reinstall the camera to its mount. Time to check these settings in the app. When you open up the app, you will see a snapshot from the camera which says not connected. In here, you can see the battery level and that it is hooked up to a solar panel. On top, you can turn off the motion sensor so that you don't have to go to the settings for it. Click on the snapshot and it will load up the live view, which loads up decently quick. In here, you can pause the live view, listen in, take a snapshot or record the live view, and you can change the resolution of the live view to 4 megapixels. And you can view in landscape mode. On the bottom, you can start two-way talk, which is full duplex, and we have PTZ controls. And you can barely see it, but you will have a joystick. And that's it. 
No motion tracking, nor no preset positions on this one. With a joystick, you can pan the camera left or right, and you will not be able to change the speed of the panning and tilting. And I noticed that the tilting is way faster, which is actually not a good thing, than the panning. You cannot slowly tilt the camera. It will abruptly move. On the top right here is a siren button if you want to manually activate the camera siren. Click on the gear icon to get to the camera settings and I'll just show you the video quality which this camera will record in 2K 2560 by 1440 resolution at 15 FPS. And on the PIR sensor, you can adjust the sensitivity up to 100 which it will stay that way in my testing. It is nice though because it has AI, you can crank it up to the highest and you will not get false notifications. And on the detection alarm, you can set detection zones separately for humans, vehicles, and others. And there is also a separate sensitivity settings for persons and vehicles. I set person detection to 100 in my testing. And now, time to do some testing. This is the video and audio quality of the Relink Argos PP version. And this is at 10 feet. This is the video quality of the Reelink Argos PP, uh, the 2K version at night, and this uh, infrared night vision with its six infrared LEDs, and this one looks like at 10 feet. 30. We are going to test the motion alert notification speed of the Relink Argos PT, the 2K version, and it is 11.24 and I'm on my LTE connection. Let's check it out. There's a little bit of delay. There you go. And at this time, there's still no rich notification. And when you click on it, it should go to live view. And loads up decently quick. So let's see what the recording cool off and the notification cool off. And it's about less than a minute. Or probably more than 30 seconds. There you go. So, less than a minute. We are going to test the maximum detection distance of the uh, Reelink Argus PT, the 2K version. And I've set the person detection to the highest sensitivity. So, let's check it out at 40 feet. Nope. Not at 40. Now 35. Not at 35. Let's go 30. Not at 30. Let's go 25. There you go. Uh, I'm gonna check later on on the recording and see when I got detected. Now we are going to test and see how soon the uh, Argus PT at uh, 2K is gonna start recording when the motion is going towards the camera. So what do you think guys? Video quality is pretty good, just like any other real links. Its AI detection as to person is pretty spot on. I didn't get any false notifications, even when the sensitivity is set to the max. But I'm assuming you're going to buy this camera because it is a pan and tilt. And the only thing you can do is manually pan and tilt the camera. No options to be able to set preset positions or for motion tracking, or even just set a home position. I guess they did this as to save battery life but it kind of limits on why you bought this camera in the first place. 
So if you're looking for a pan and tilt camera and if you want more features than a joystick and manually moving the camera every time, you have to go wired. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.